So I think it's actually whether what I did not see. When I go to the field, I'm used to being surrounded by a lot of kids, bubbly, jumping, laughing. And in Borno, this is not the case, especially in the displacement camps where the kids, especially the children under five, were, were missing. Most of them had unfortunately already died. On the other hand, however, in our hospital for severely acutely malnourished children with um, really severe medical complications, here the, the number of malnourished kids was alarming. They, um, they were of a severity that I have not recently seen in any of the projects that I've visited. If I had to summarize it into one word, it would be conflict. Entire villages have been decimated and left empty as the conflict between Boko Haram and the Nigerian government has persisted and people have had to leave their livelihoods behind. Many of them have been um, moved into displacement camps and many of them have fled to the state capital of Maiduguri. Others that have not made it to the state capital but are in areas that a very difficult access because of the fighting where humanitarian aid is not able to reach them and food is not able to reach them. The other side of the story is the, the medical side. This is especially important for children who are very susceptible to malnutrition and to, to, to disease. So you take a child that does not have enough food, that is living in very crowded and often unhospitable situations. On top of that, you add the malaria season, you add measles, poor water leading to diarrhea, and you end up with very, very sick children. The one-shot approach that we use for areas that are outside of my degree, those areas where there is still ongoing conflict and where it's not safe for us to leave a permanent team. So we will send a team to visit the area and during a short time we will, for example, screen all children under the age of five for malnutrition. And for those children that are malnourished, we will distribute a monthly supply of a special therapeutic food that will help them recover and we also try to vaccinate for deadly diseases such as measles or pneumonia. So we do as much as we can in a short period, um, not knowing when we will be able to come back to that same area. The other type of approach is what we use in Maiduguri. This has mostly involved simplification of our approach in order to reach as many children and as many women as we can. We seek out children early and try to identify and treat them before they get to the point where they are near death. The situation in Borno is devastating. It's so tragic. But we can make a difference, and we are making a difference.